The pandemic has hit the American economy so hard that the country's GDP has dropped by nearly 5%. The drop was reported by the Department of Commerce Wednesday morning. It marks the sharpest decline since the Great Recession, which ended in 2009. More than 26 million Americans are currently out of work. Carrie Simmons, the fiancé of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, gave birth to their baby boy on Wednesday during week six of the UK's lockdown. Johnson was released from hospital earlier this month after recovering from COVID-19. Small businesses in Venice are calling on the government to let them reopen. The lockdown in Italy has meant these shops have had to close for almost two months so far. Comunque noi a Venezia in Veneto vogliamo riaprire. Siamo convinti che queste persone non vogliono vivere di assistenze pubbliche. The plan is for bars and restaurants to open June 1st, but this won't happen if there's a spike in cases after the lockdown eases on May 4th. China has accused Australia of what it calls petty tricks. This is the latest in an escalating diplomatic dispute over Australia's push for an international inquiry into the coronavirus outbreak. The Australian Prime Minister said this would not be targeted at China specifically, but was needed because of the pandemic's impact. New Zealand's Prime Minister spoke with Queen Elizabeth on Wednesday after her country came out of a lockdown that helped contain the spread of COVID-19. We received a message several days ago now uh, just suggesting that Her Majesty uh, was eager um, to, to touch base and hear how New Zealand was doing under the circumstances of the global pandemic. Uh, and so while it's not um, general practice to comment on any, uh, to any detailed degree on the conversation, what I came away with was a very genuine and strong sense that Her Majesty is really interested in how we're doing um, and was heartened to hear that, um, that we're doing okay. If you want to get a mask in this northern French town, look no further than where you'd usually get your favorite chocolate bar. These vending machines are selling masks and other protective equipment, like sanitizer and latex gloves. France says when it starts reopening in May, people will have to wear masks in places where people can't socially distance from each other. Thanks for watching Global News. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.